Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 11, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin and I've chosen a few more a cryptocurrency as this is basically what everybody is talking about at this current stage so we'll start by looking at bitcoin as you can see we are trading at 40,408 at this current stage and usually the trend in bitcoins or cryptocurrency as a whole is that they have been increasing in value in the weekend so basically late friday to to sunday um, they basically tend to increase in value the reason for that technically don't know but but that has been the trend at this current stage so this week has been an enormous week for bitcoin we went from the lows here at forty thousand. well basically we we, we um, increased in just one week ten thousand dollars in the value of bitcoin that is just that's just crazy absolutely nuts 25 percent in one week um uh, well, that is just nuts. So if you look at the Bollinger Band, we can also see that we are, we were outside yesterday, pulled back quite significantly all the way down to 36,500. And then uh, basically we're at the top of 41,000, 42,000. Now we're basically on the edge of the uh, Bollinger Band. And usually that is not a good sign, but who cares? To be fairly honest, this market just goes higher and higher and higher. And at this current point, it I don't think it's the value of Bitcoin that is uh, justified. I don't even think that people know what they're putting money in, to be fairly honest. But it is the constant good news that it's going higher, it's going higher, it's going higher. And usually you have something called parapsychology here. People tend to follow the group. So if they see that uh, this is going up, then they're going to buy and then it's going to go more up, and then the second person is going to buy, and then it go more and more and more, and then it's just going to be a continuation of that, and that is going to drive this market as high as possible until somebody goes in and basically pulls the plug, and then it's going to collapse. So that's what happened last time, and usually that's what what a bubble looks like. At the point, point where the RSI is at 86, it is significantly overbought. The CCI is turning around, but we are way above 100. The stochastic has crossed the signal line, but we are also way above 70 here. And the MACD is extremely bullish. If you look at the weekly chart for, for Bitcoin, this should just, in, in normal circumstances, if you saw a commodity or a stock or anything that was in a weekly chart this far above the Bollinger Band or at it's 96 in the RSI, you would be just selling this like crazy because it is just nuts. So I have uh, stuck to my analysis and I will stick to my analysis that we are going to see a significant fall in this market. The Fibonacci's are continue to go higher as this basically this market, these price are going higher. But at this current stage, the first Fibonacci is at 27,000. There's going to be a lot of buyers there. I think at 30,000 uh, there, you're going to see enormous amounts of buying. Uh, then we have the 50 at the 22.5. And then we have the 61 at 18,000. So if we follow the Fibonacci retracements, that is basically the targets in this market. But it doesn't look like this has anything, no end in sight and could continue even further. We could also take the longer Fibonacci all the way down here, and then we could get another reading, which is 27,000, or we could go all the way down to uh, the very lows here. That's still 26,000. Doesn't really change that much. But that's basically where this market could go. So this cannot continue forever. But I've also been saying that for several weeks now and it just continues forever. So let's look at uh, Ethereum. So we'll look at the daily chart first. And uh, this has is basically showing signs of 
turning around. So we're at 82 in the RSI. So the CCI is just above 100. And that is that is um, quite a big warning sign for this market. If you get under 100, then it, it becomes bearish. We are at 91 here in the stochastic, crossing the signal line, and we are extremely high, very bullish here in the stochastic. But we have been outside of the bullish band. We had this major fall from 1269 uh, all the way down to uh, 1058, uh, and then we rallied yet again today. At this point, we are trading at 1213, and it looks like that we are going to either make a flag here and go higher, or go gradually down towards the middle of the bullish band. So the middle of the bullish band is uh, 831. If we look at the weekly chart at the, for for each term, we can see that this is completely parabolical. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracement for this market and where we could fall to. So the first one is here at 827. The next one is the 50, it's at 681, and down here is at 541. So people are going are making a lot of money from this. Uh, in my view, it's just pure gambling um, because usually when you get to these extreme levels, you should start shorting. Um, the same goes when you basically are oversold. When you get significantly oversold, you should start buying. So, so this is completely the opposite of reason. And um, that's why I'm saying people are basically playing with fire. But as long as people are buying this, it will continue higher. I'm just saying at some point, there is going to be a big institution or one of the big investors in Bitcoin that is going to say, now it's enough, let's start shorting this. And then they're going to push this market as low as possible and then start buying even more. That's how they basically earn money. They control the market. So I will not basically technically consider buying into this until we hit at least 50 in the Fibonacci retracement. So that is roughly around this area here, 670 or something like that. I wouldn't even think about buying it until we get to this level. So let's look at uh, XRP. So you can see we have rallied quite significantly here last week. It is um, becoming interesting. So this is one of the more cheaper uh, cryptocurrency. We're only at the value of this is only 0 0.3190. This is where Bitcoin was uh, like uh, uh, roughly 10 to 12 years ago. And uh, people that bought it back then are enormously rich at this current stage. So um, you could basically take the gamble, uh, a small gamble, and just hold this for the next 10 years. And that will become thousands and thousands of dollars, uh, even millions. So, but in order to to um, confirm that we are going to uh, trend upwards, we need to basically break the 50 moving average. We are trading about the, uh, about the 20, and we are also trading about the middle of the Bollinger Band and the 200 moving average. That's a good sign. And these technical indicators are turning around. So we could see this market move up towards the top of the Bollinger Band, which is at 0 0.4287. And then we'll see whether or not it pulls back. When we last time we got to the top of the bullish band, we basically fell from these highs all the way down to the bottom. So at this current point, I in order to buy into this, I want to basically cross the 50 moving average. When these when the 20 exponential crosses the 20 and we're trading above those uh, moving averages, then it's a good sign to basically enter this market. Otherwise, I'm just going to wait and stay uh, stay away from this market for the time being. So let's look, look at Litcoin. So this is also one of the cryptocurrency that is really uh, uh, trending at this current stage. We have gone all the way from the bottom here up at $45 uh, for, for this cryptocurrency, all the way to the highest here of 178 So, well, that's like... Uh, that's like a 
that's like four times your money back. So, so that is uh, quite a good trade. And that's only from the beginning of November until now. So, so uh, nearly 400, uh, 350, 400% uh, increase in your value in, in, uh, in two months. That is, that's, that's good to be fairly honest. But we are overstretched here. Uh, technical indicators are also uh, significantly or bought in RSI. Uh, the CCI is turning around, stochastic is turning around. So I would expect this to pull back towards the 20 exponential. That's roughly 138. And there you'll see another, a lot of buyers coming back in. We did fall towards 150 and then rallied again. But uh, if you look at the past, the 20 exponential moving average has been the uh, major support here. So pull back towards the 20 exponential. That is basically your entry point for this um, cryptocurrency. And then I will basically just hold it probably until it gets to 300 or, or 500. It will probably just go similar to the other cryptocurrencies and so on. So NEO. We can see that uh, we have rallied all the way from roughly down here when we are way outside of the Bollinger Band, around 12.13, all the way to 22.75, uh, no, 50, 57, sorry, and then we crashed. So here, getting outside of the Bollinger Band is basically a warning sign that we are going to go significantly lower. So we most likely will head towards the 50 moving average here. If that holds, then it is time to basically just start buying this again. There is some room to the upside still. It is not overbought. The technical indicators are still uh, over there. Um, for example, the CCI is over 100. It's still bullish. The stochastic is becoming bearish, and the C uh, MACD is bullish at this point. But a pullback towards the 50 or the middle of the bullish band, that is basically your entry point for this market. So... So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.